Hi, I'm Wendy Shuttleworth, and this is a video on your soul puzzle, Dawning of a Higher Wisdom. I hope you enjoyed. The first matrix that I'm going to discuss is where most of society is. It's the 3D matrix. It's decay, despair, day to day. People don't even know that they're in a matrix, but this is where people just keep going like a hamster in life. They, they keep going to work to pay for their bills, but then they have to keep working because their bills keep needing to be paid and they're backstabbing, unhappy, not even aware they're in a matrix. Uh, very negative patterns, behaviors, abuse, victims, um, the abusers themselves, all of this is covered in this area. And slowly people start to wake up and realize that they are in a in a negative matrix, that almost energy field that holds them in this position. Slowly, as people develop themselves, as they start looking at themselves, they go through a phase of 4D, realizing you, you don't know who you are. If you're persistent, you become aware and you feel your resonance. Start making sense of your own soul puzzle in the matrix of 4D. So this is where you start to stick your head out and go, oh, there's more to life. Actually, I can work through things. I am in control. I have choices. Here you're looking at that. The main thing is at the choices. The world you're living in is you. So you, you realize that you're not it's, it's like you start waking up from a dream of the 3D and you start realizing, hold on, life is a dream, but I'm also the dreamer. So you start realizing you have more power. 4D energy is, is lighter than 3D energy, so it allows you to start releasing the blocks, the blocks of your childhood, the blocks of past, the blocks of negativity, the blocks of needing to, to be in control and to be controlled. You start choosing to pass on better dreams for your kids. So here's the area that you can really make a difference as a mother. I mean, I'm a mother, so I want to make a difference. And you start healing and, and passing on wisdom rather than wounds. So important as a mother, I feel. Then you move on and you come to the next level which is 5D, deliverance of true self. Now you're really getting, starting to get into your power. You're starting to live more now, and it's about abundance and collective freedom, balance of surrender and action. So there's, there is still action. People think that's like this, la, 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 lulu, lulu land. You still have action, but it's a balance of surrender and action, duality. Making peace with your life. It's a new paradigm, new world, interdependence, freedom of pathological thinking. You're starting to oneness, abundance, collective freeness. And you start to realize that actually there is so much more. It's about freedom. Now you start moving into 6D to 12D. Here we're talking about divine love. Divine love, salvation, Christ consciousness, samadhi, some people call it. It's also the feeling of like a flock of birds soaring in time, in tune, as one. How do they, they know where each other's going? It's this intangible link that we all have, like a, 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 a swarm of fish or a swarm of bees flying through the air together or fish swimming as a group, as one. So it's about the interconnectedness, the golden thread that links all humanity, all nature, all universe, all stars, all everything. And here, here it's about be still and know. So it's the duality of being still and knowing. At this stage, I find people start asking, where do you start? How do you do the shift? What level matrix am I in? And feel your resonance. So start asking critical questions about everything, like society, politics, country rules, and structures. So become aware 
of what you want around you. Becoming aware can show you where you're stuck. Release past and subconscious issues. You do not need them. Release them. They in the old matrix. Start moving and living more. Start looking at the blocks and letting them go. As you, as you let go this little block and you transmute it, it helps you release more. And it helps attract more um, positive energy and release more negative energy. And that little block with that choice, that little choice, starts attracting more and more. And slowly your whole life, with all the good decision, starts moving in a more positive direction. And you start changing matrixes. Some days you'll have good days. Some days you'll have bad days. But it's about which general direction are you moving and then you can start seeing, you build and you grow it. It's like any muscle, you need to practice it. Same as, you know, I don't know, muscles to swim and muscles to do whatever you need to do. <laughs> they attract more, neg more negative energy gets released. And you start having the tiny particles of the daily choices starting to form. This reality shifting is not always about a big mountain moves. People expect big mountains. And yes, at the moment in December, this December and January and the beginning parts of 2021, there's going to be a lot of people doing quantum leaps and big jumps in their reality because there's more energy coming in than ever before. And the whole structure and the matrixes are shifting. So it's a good time to actually become aware and start the shifting. It's almost like our souls are calling each other to start this now. And it's a great time. But you'll still have bad days. Fluctuating back into Matrix 3 and Matrix 4. And maybe you need to be there sometimes to feed the dog and change the nappy. And that's okay. That's okay. Just do it with awareness. And then when you can, raise, raise the energy. I think talking about... Um, nappies and stuff brings me back to how it's the little choices in life it's it's instead of looking at the child and thinking dirty nappy looking at the child and thinking what a beautiful creation it's about passing on wisdom to our children not wounds it's about passing on the wisdom that they can have joy and abundance and that they are in control of their own reality So take time, take time to do use things like kapuna and prayer and meditation and tent and stay in your flow and stay in your truth and feel it, feel the air, feel the warmth around you, feel your hair, feel your skin, feel how it feels to live in your life, feel how it feels to be sitting where you're sitting, feel how it feels and start feeling where the blocks are and how you can release them and then realizing that it's choices and that you can also create your own reality. Start support your body. As we go through this change and this time, a lot of people's bodies are taking strain. So, you know, sometimes we need big jolts to help us with these shifts. And that's one of the reasons why I think the universe has made coronavirus and stuff. But it's more than that. The body chooses and the soul chooses to jump and to help you change realities. And they might give you a sickness and a trauma in your life, something to help you realize and wake up. And the whole universe is going through this at the moment, which is amazing. But support your body. Drink lots of water. Eat healthy food. Take time to sleep. Take time to be on your own. Take time to share love and compassion with each other and for yourself. And then guide the way. Understand that not everybody is in this space. Guide this way with compassion and resonance and help others feel the compassion and resonance and the shift and the power to have choice. This is your soul puzzle and explaining the dawning of higher wisdom and how we evolve with wisdom and how we do this in a, in a physical body and how we can support and shift our reality so that we are able to emerge from chaos 
to joy. It's Wendy Shuttleworth. I hope you start living a more fulfilled life. If you like this video, please share it and help the rest of humanity. And by shifting yourself, you shift the world because the world is within you. And by shifting and sharing with others, you help them shift their little bit of the world, which makes your little bit of the world stronger and more shifted. Let's shift our world. Let's shift our universe. Let's shift our reality. One person, one energy, one block at a time. And I'd like to just meet you one day. Please share this. And if you want a private session, please use my web to book a session. And I bless you. And I love you. And I wish you happy dreaming and happy choosing the best for yourself and your children. Pass on wisdom, not wounds. And I love you. Namaste.